Hello everybody, welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get these epic free vintage matte effects that you can use for your video editing and really stylize everything to a really unique tone. This sample pack is completely free so let me show you how to get it. Head on over to Cinepax.com, go to the free section and add the film matte pack to your cart. It's completely free. Then slide on over to checkout, fill out all your information, doesn't matter what you put here, and once you click next you'll be set to download your pack. Alright, so once you download the pack, you're going to have a zip file here, so go ahead and just double click it to go ahead and unzip it, and you're going to want to drag all these files outside of the zip file, of course, to extract them, and that way we can import them into DaVinci. So once you have them extracted from that folder, go over to your media tab, and I just went ahead and found the folder that I just extracted and dragged it straight into my media pool over here. So I have it all imported. So let's go ahead and look at this pack real quick. And basically we got a few cool things. They're completely free. You can use them in all of your projects, commercial, music video, anything. These are completely free. We do have a larger pack that you can get. I'll show you at the end of the video. All right, so we got some cool PNG images here as well as some overlays, split screen effects, and a lot of other things. They're all Apple ProRes transparent. So that means they are just drag and drop. So the first thing I want to do is mess with this split screen image right here. So I'm just going to drag that onto my timeline. I have some cool footage of a small village that has a really homey and kind of vintage feel for it. Perfect for this effect. So let's go ahead and take two separate clips. I have some more footage over here and I want to kind of put them together. So let's just drag these on top of each other. Now to fit them into each of these squares, I'm going to grab my top one right here. And all I'm going to do is grab my transform and I'm going to place where I want it cropped. So I'm going to kind of just maybe I'll hold shift so it stays level and I'm going to place it right there. Uh, now the second thing is I need to crop it into the square. The easiest thing for me to do is go into our inspector over here and just slide the crop right. And as you can see, it's super easy, we don't need to do anything complex, and it fits in there perfectly. Now the second one here, we don't really need a crop since everything else is co uh, covering it already. So let's go ahead and frame this one up a little bit. So if we go ahead and play this through, there we go, we got an awesome kind of split screen effect. And you can see the vintage has some awesome like hair and dust overlays and it's animated, it's really cool. All right, to loop this, all you gotta do is hold down Alt and click and drag to duplicate it and they loop seamlessly. So you can just go ahead and press play and it will loop all the way through. Now we can do the exact same thing with this other one, which is a really cool split quad here. So we can layer up to four different clips as for this one. So if I drag all of these in, let's just drag them all top on top of each other and we're gonna have to move up just a little bit uh, we can very easily just position each person so I'm gonna have I'm just gonna click on a transform and just drag each one into place very easily so it fits the frame grab the next one scale this one down let's put this one right there I don't even need to crop this for this one works really well and if we put everything into place everything should come out clean. So let's go ahead and drag this one in and drag it right around. Make this one a little bit smaller and drag it right there. And if we press play, as you can see, we have an awesome little crop there and it looks really cool. I like it a lot. And of course we can trim all of these here and just bring it to one neat little area. Now, what I like to do to just clean everything up, right click and new, no, not fusion clip right click and make a new compound clip right there all right and what do we name this and eh, we'll just name it compound clip for one if that isn't creative I don't know what is now let's go ahead and mess with the transitions so I'm gonna drag this over here and drag this over here and let's create a transition between the two effects right here so if they play through what we have over here is this animated 3d transition and if we hold down alt zoom in here and position it correctly. As you can see, I'll use my arrow keys to just go one frame at a time. And I'm just gonna line this up so that the whole frame covers it right on top of the cut. So if we play this through, it looks pretty cool. All right, now to spice things up just a little bit, I do want to go ahead and why don't we add some motion blur. All right, now to spice up this transition a little bit more, let's add a little bit of animation to the clips so they move with the transition a little bit. So go over to your effects, type in transform, and drag on your transform to the first clip. And let's start so we have a little bit more room to work with. 
let's go over to the effects tab where we just added our transform and let's zoom in just a little bit right right there that way we have some some edge room to animate with if if that will help uh, help us make a cool 3d effect so keyframe it right at the start of the transition go a few frames in just use your arrow keys until it disappears disappears right there and go ahead and now that we have some extra room to animate let's zoom in right around there perfect so have it zoom just a little bit and then go over to your motion blur and enable it just drag it all the way up to one and if we press play awesome now it has a little bit of a 3d effect it kind of moves within the frame which is super cool you can do the exact same thing on the second clip as well so drag in your transform let's go to the end of the clip right here over to our effects tab and let's zoom in a little bit right around there keyframe and enable motion blur and then let's go to a few frames in where this first starts and give it a little bit of a zoom out right right there i think so now if it animates it zooms in with it awesome i love it a lot awesome i love it so let's go ahead and play that through and it looks a lot better than it did when we didn't have anything animated one of the other cool things in this pack is just a basic default overlay. So as you can see, there's just a cool little thing that you can just drag on to just stylize anything. You can leave it like that, or you can go ahead and if we alt and duplicate these, we can just kind of spice it up a little bit by just dragging each one of these frames over. So it just looks like there's multiple frames going on at once. So if we play that through, that looks really cool. It looks really cool. I like that a lot. That makes it a lot better than just leaving one frame. And to wrap things up, let's go ahead and mess with these picture in picture standstills here. I didn't think you could do much with these, but I recently picked up on a few tricks and there's some really cool things that you can make with this. So let's go ahead and mess with them. Um, so I'm just gonna drag one in. Maybe we'll make two. They're essentially the same. This one just has a little transparent tape on top of it. But let's start with this and I want to get, I think this is a perfect kind of thing for a portrait. So let's go ahead and drag this kid here and drag him into the frame right around there. And that looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. And to make things look really cool though, is you can come over to, to make things look cool, go over to your effects tab and add stop motion effect. Now that will basically, it's essentially like the posterize effect. It just kind of uh, it essentially samples and limits your frame rate. So if we go ahead and play this through, as you can see, it's just kind of going frame by frame at this point. If you go over to the effects, you can affect how much frames it repeats. Right now it's repeating five frames. So right now that works pretty well for us. Now the cool thing that I think we can do is right click, create a new compound clip. And now we can kind of drag this and animate it around. So let's go ahead, let's get a, let's get a cool background here. Um, what other foot, footage do we have? Let's just take uh, the basic soccer game here, trim everything together. And now let's drag this. If we can get the, get a click on the handle, I might just have to use the rotation for this one. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Now let's animate this and then add the stop motion effect to this as well. And we'll have a really cool shaky end result. I'll show you guys. So let's go ahead and bring this to the start of the frame. And I'm gonna have this keyframe right there. I'm just gonna keyframe the transform. And then let's go a few frames in and just have it kind of come here, maybe rotate a little bit, a few frames in, come over here, rotate the other way maybe a little bit, kind of go over here, could rotate a little bit more. All right, so I went ahead and animated this through, so it looks pretty cool like that. It actually really doesn't, but it will look cool once we add the stop motion effect to it. Now, in order for the stop motion effect to apply to this animation that we just did, we're gonna have to compound it once again. So we have a few different layers going on here, but once we do that and it's all compounded and the animation is baked into this clip, we can just go ahead and drag the stop motion onto it. I would say for this one, I exaggerated the movements just a little bit too much. However, if we were to add a bunch of these together, that would look really cool the way it's just janky kind of moving 
through the frame like a quick stop motion image. You could just have all the photos kind of pile together and move across the screen. You could even make some cool transitions and just kind of some overall really cool graphics with it. So other than that, that is pretty much everything included in this pack. If you guys like messing around with these assets and you want to get the full version, I have an awesome code for you guys, sample15. Type that in during checkout at cinepacks.com and you will get 15% off your order. So as always, happy editing and have a great day.